Hello, hello, Danger Noodles. It is I, the great Dr. Bray, along with a friend here who's doing things, so they may not speak as much. Okay. View to chapter one. Yes. And I'm still always watching. <laughs> wow, the game's loud. <laughs> always watching. Sachi is my pride and joy. I think that's what it said. She'd do anything for me. I can't read that. I, I can't read that. <laughs> but I still love her with all my heart. Skill issue, fuck you, Chew. I don't know Japanese. <laughs> down the stairs to kindly teach her lost her footing. She tumbled and she fell. And she died! <laughs> this took place in a school called Heavenly Host Elementary and it wasn't long after that whole place got shut down. It was then bulldozed to the ground and forgotten. That elementary school once stood right here on the site of our own Kisaragi Academy. Some say that the teacher still has no idea she's dead, even to this day, and on raining evenings like this, after classes have come to an end. Some claim she roams around the darkened hallways, still believing them to be her own. <laughs> no, not the child, the teacher. <laughs> the teacher put on the stairs. In fact, it's, it's almost time for her to make her rounds just after 7 o'clock. That's when she appears. Always accompanied by a sudden blackout that leaves the entire building dark as night. Knock, knock. You'll hear from the blackness. Followed by the sound of the classroom door slowly sliding open as her pale white face cuts through the stillness her soft voice always echoes the same question is anyone still here and then Oh my gosh, I'm Ash Ketchum. <laughs> I'm sorry, because the Hash's name in Japanese is Satoshi. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. So you're gonna be replaced soon. It's just Thunder Machida. Nanka. <laughs> I gotta say, that was a pretty impressive reaction. <laughs> Come on, stop laughing. <laughs> most of you see. Fuck, fuck all these people. You're just making fun of me. It's just bad timing, that's all. You always have the best reactions. I just love telling stories to you, Machida. It's so rewarding. God, that was the most anime laugh I've ever heard. <laughs> Who ever heard 
Who ever heard of a class representative with such a sadistic streak? Who ever heard of a boy who can hit a note like that when he screams? Please save me. <laughs> Don't be shocking. <laughs> okay, okay, let's not have any fighting. We don't hurry and get back to cleaning this place up. It'll be 7 o'clock till we do. And you won't want to be stuck here during the appointed time, now would you? Why, is, it really is 7 already, and the rain doesn't show any signs of stopping. Can you bring an umbrella, Shig? If not, you're welcome to use mine. Sure. Thank you, that would be lovely. Oh, so that's why that scary store suck ass kids wrote it. <laughs> Shoo! What? A blackout? Huh? Oh, it can't be. Isn't it a little late for anybody else to be here? Are they gone? Hey, hey Satoshi, aren't you gonna go see? What? Me? Why? Sash ringing, the trash singing, the mash flinging. I can't do it, I'm paralyzed here. Can't move my legs one one inch. I'm scared too, you know. Oh, I, I am Ash. Ah. Is anyone still there? Time to go home, children. Gotcha. <laughs> I just want to join in on all the fun you guys seem to be having. How's the cleanup coming along? Why does... Why does the teacher look so fucking young? <laughs> they look like a high schooler. <laughs> or even younger, actually, a middle schooler. <laughs> Miss you, Miss Yui. <laughs> Did I scare you? You were telling that old ghost story, right? Your time was way too good, Miss Yui. Miss Shisho. Shido. You've heard the story too? They all look very young and chibi and chibi and it makes me very uncomfortable. <laughs> oh no, true. If it's that old tale about Heavenly Host Elementary School, then of course I have. After all, it wasn't too long ago that I was a student here myself. Oh yeah, I haven't thought about that. When it comes to the seven wonders of Kishiyaragi High, I'm pretty well versed. I've been around for a long time now. But I can't take credit for a blackout. That was just good fortune. Anyway, Mochita. Yeah, yes. I ran into a rather adorable individual in the hall. Who's come to see you? Come on in. 
<laughs> I hate that. I hate that so much. Oh no, Chew. Seems Machida forgot. <laughs> Seems Machida forgot his umbrella and this morning, so little Yuka here has come all the way to deliver it. Oh, yeah, I guess I did. Sorry about that, Yuka. Thanks. <laughs> Is she from junior high? It's to meet you. My brother's always like this. Always really kind, I mean. Aww. Life is pain! <laughs> I had no idea you had such a cute little sister, Satoshi. <laughs> Sorry, Yuka. It seems like we're still gonna be a little while yet. Yeah, but it's okay. I'll help too. You, you will? Uh, okay, thanks. Yosh! Jasketto ga futari fuete koto dashi! Alright, looks like you got two extra pairs of hands now. Kassa to bunkasai no katazuke! Yatcha oka! So let's just show this mess who's boss. Yeah. Yeah! Alright! <laughs> Okay, so you're roving me into this too, huh? Okay, everyone. Nice work. I hope you, I hope you all enjoy your vacation, but try to actually do something with it, okay? Don't just sleep in. But what if you're narcoleptic? I like sleeping in. Fuck you. Today's Red Bean Cafe was the talk of the culture festival. So do give yourself a hand. You guys worked hard, and it really paid off. And you even resisted the urge to bail and cleaning. This old TA could be more proud of you all. So have some coffee milk. I brought enough for everybody. You got these from the lunchroom, didn't you? They're kinda lukewarm. My stomach's so gurgly, I don't think milk would sit well with me right now. These are from your f fight with that vending machine. <laughs> I don't bet. You must have pulled that change lever a good ten times before you finally gave up. Crap. You saw that, huh? It's seaweed. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. You're very welcome. Thanks, Teach. Susumoto, I really liked your speech. Best of luck to you at your new school. I know you'll do just fine. Susumoto, I said to look at from Earthbound. <laughs> Thanks. Won't be the same around here without you, Susan E. I know you, Suzumoto. You always make new friends in no time flat. I'm sure of it. And it's not like you're moving that far away. Come winter break, we'll all make sure to come visit. Visit. Absolutely. Wait, you mean I can go too? <laughs> no one says anything. Thank you. All of you. <laughs> hey, brother, you think you're transferring to a new school or something? Yeah, today's culture festival was our last day. Aww, it's so sad. Yeah, it is. Nothing we can do about it, though. 
unfortunately. Why is there a bunch of fucking dragons going around in the background? I can see that. Hey, Mr. Cito, before we go... Hmm? Since we're losing one of our own, do you mind if we try something? It's called Shichiko Ever After. Who's Shichiko and what's with this paper doll? It's just another one of your occult things? Heh, <laughs> kind of. This is, well, it's a charm that I found on the internet. If we do it right, then all of us will be together forever. Or we'll always be friends. Anyway, that's the gist of it. Ew, it's like it's a charm? Yep. It's it's all Sh Shinozaki has to say. Susan is totally bonkers for that kind of stuff. Guess it can't guess it can't hurt. Is everybody okay with this? Yeah. Sure. I'm fine with it. Yay! Charm! Sure, whatever. Shige, you too? Uh, yes. Looks like the eyes have it. The floor is yours. <laughs> Shinozaki. Great! Okay, everybody, gather in a circle around this paper's Shichiko doll. And in your head, repeat the words, Shichiko, we beg of you. Uh, seven, eight, nine, yeah, nine times. Don't worry if you flub it a, a little, just make sure you don't stop partway through. You have to say it one time for every person present. No more, no less, or the charm will fail. Alright, right, let's get started. Everybody remember the charm? Shachiko, we beg of you nine times. Ready? Begin. Everybody said it nine times? Yep. Exactly nine. Yeah, yeah. Let's get on with it. If we don't, I'm afraid I'll wind up saying it again. Okay, now everybody reach toward the paper doll. And grab hold of it, wherever you can. Like this? Exactly. Now hold on real tightly. Dig your nails into it if you have to. Just don't let go. We're going to pull on on it until it rips apart into nine pieces, okay? On a count of three. One, two, pull! <laughs> Nicely done, everyone. Now, just make sure you keep that scrap of paper safe. Slide it in, in one of your student ID holder or your wallet. Basically, anywhere it won't get lost. Hmm? As long as we all have a little piece of Sachiko with us, we'll always be connected with one another as friends. That's the purpose of this charm. Ah, that's pretty, actually pretty cool. Pretty cool? Okay, super cool. I'll have to be e extra careful not to lose my piece. Thank you, Shinazaki. I'll treasure this. No problem. Consider it our promise that we'll all definitely hang out together again. Definitely. Well, I hate to say it, but I think it's about time we all get packed up and start heading out. Oh. Yes, ma'am. Did she? An earthquake?
Holy shit, epic boss now with music. What the hell? It's, this is like a holy crap game. Great and I'm scared. You got it. Come up the room. Take my hand. Yes. Everyone, stay calm. Get under the desk until it passes. Hurry! Yeah, I don't think you can get under the desk. They would charge my career and toss the earthquake. Like the floor. Everybody, hang on to something! If you can! What the hell is happening? Can't... Damn it! I can't see a thing! Naomi, where are you? Satoshi! Group Hosta Earthquake Fuse Magnitude. Ow, ow, me leg. I can move it, so I guess it's just a sprain. Huh? Where? Where? I need it home, am I? I? It can't be. It's so dark. I can't be in the same thing. Oh wait, that's not, that's not the sister. Never mind. Why did I give this person a voice? Is this, is this the school? What's going on? What the hell is this place? Permanent. Victims? Seiko? Seiko, Seiko! This isn't good. There's gotta be some... Can you not hear me? Is there a reason why she's just not pushing the desk? That I don't know, Chew. <laughs> Ow! Uh, that, that really hurt. My ankle, it's in pretty bad shape. Wait, before I do, I'm gonna go click that. Heavenly Post. Third student reported missing. One by one, the young students of Heavenly Host blank re redacted school seem to be disappearing as now a third student has joined the ranks of the missing classmates testified that, mi that fifth grader redacted was on her way home from school. We got separated from our friends in the hall and hasn't been seen since. Police are investigating the possibility of a serial kidnapping and have assigned countless investigators to the case in hopes of a speedy resolution. However, ten days have already passed, the first disappearance giving parents and classmates ample cause for concern. <laughs> really true. Seiko! Seiko! Say. Thank goodness. She's still breathing. 
Seiko, come on, Seiko, wake up. What's up? Don't you what's up me? I thought you were dead. Hmm? Uh, where? Where are we? What's going on? That's what I like to know. It ain't budging. These windows are sealed up tight. And it's pitch black out there, so I can't make heads or tails of what I'm seeing. What the hell is going on? Oh, this, is, this is clearly a school building. Don't the desk seem unusually small to you, though? Like an elementary school. An elementary school? It can't be, can it? <laughs> what is it? The printout on the wall. It says Heavenly Host Elementary. Notice to all faculty and students. Heavenly Host? Isn't that the elementary school that preceded Kaskari Academy? That the one that was shut down and demolished? Oh god, what is happening? Where the hell are we? And where's our friends? And Miss Huey? Calm down, Psycho. Don't get worked up. Sorry. Izakai, let's go. <laughs> Psycho and I just stood there in silence, hand in hand. It was the first time in my life that I'd been shaking so hard I could hear my teeth chatter. I become completely lightheaded and couldn't even begin thinking straight, much less wrap my brain around what is happening to us. I kept telling myself it's all a dream, some horrible nightmare, but no matter how hard I wished for it, I just couldn't wake up. And it and the silence was the worst part of it all. I couldn't take it anymore. I had to say something. Anything. Oh, hi, Adorna. Hello. Hey, I don't have the slightest idea what's going on. But how about we try finding a way out of here? A way out? We can't just stand here quaking in terror. We need to do something, you know? Besides, I don't want to be in this creepy place any longer than I have to. But the windows are all sealed shut. And I don't just mean they're stuck or locked. It's like there are decorations on the wall. I don't even think they can open. Is it even possible to leave this building? I'm not sure, but they, there might be an entranceway or emergency exit or something. Some means of getting outside. You're right, and it's just a lot better than just standing around. I feel like I'm going to go all loony in here if we keep this up. Okay then, first step is to leave this room. We've got to keep our spirits up, after all. It's probably not just the two of us in here. The others have to be around somewhere, right? Yeah, and if we can reunite with them... 
we can find a way out of here together. That's a spirit. I have no reason to believe any of what I just said. I was just probably delirious, and to be honest, but I, I knew that if I didn't act, I'd start to go mad. I'd start to scream. I'd be unconsolable. So in desperation. In, uh, great, the cult, uh, right. inconsolable. Alright. I put on the strongest front I could man manage. Character introductions. Direct the eye toward any character and press the action key to learn more about him or her. When you're done, exit the door on the southwest side of the ring and resume play. What if I can save here? I can't. Fuck. Excuse me. It's Yui Shishido, age 23. A 11th grade English teacher at Sargate Academy on School. Just started this semester after passing her teaching exam and is eager to make an impression. Though not a perfect instructor by any means, her unjaded zeal and enthusiasm are infectious. And her students are generally responsive for her methods. Also serves as a teacher assistant during homework after class 2-9 and really seems to have connected with the, with the students there. And when she's in charge, all eyes are on her always. Toshiki Kishinuba, age 17. A student at Kishiragi Academy Senior High, class 2-9. Often regarded as a sarcastic and cynical, but as far as he's concerned, he's just being honest. Although generally not one, one to participate in events, he, his fondness for the Satoshi and Yumi means he'll make an exception now and again if either is involved. With intense drama at home, Mishiki currently works part time at the school to avoid rent by a small apartment where he lives alone. Ayumi Shinozaki, age 17. The appointed representative of Kishiaraki Academy High Class 2 9 often subjects her classmates to ghost stories and reveals and hearing them scream. I mean, okay, rebels. So, right? Yeah, rebels. Right. Since you're probably going to be saying this a lot, um, it's called Kisa. Kisa. Kisa Lucky. Uh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Got um, it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm probably just gonna say the Academy High School. <laughs> that way I don't keep remembering how to say it. It's generally believed that she carries candles and other horror goods with her at all times, just in case an opportunity or presents itself to use them. In truth, however, Ayumi wears its Wears his reputation as a mask to hide her own fear of the unknown, which rivals even Satoshi's in its intensity. When faced with a truly scary situation, her knees give out and panic sets in. Only a personal pride can break her out of this fear induced state. Yuka Mishida, age 14. Satoshi's little sister, though she's an 8th grader at Academy Junior High School. High School, she looks and acts much younger. In, in the Shida household, Yuka's always been a princess, generally getting her way and that uh, generally getting her way and thus never really shedding her childlike behavior. Despite this, she yearns to grow up, often attempting to act older or braver than she is. And this often gets her into trouble. Psycho Shinohara, age 16. Free spirit, she often says or does things that take others by surprise, 
but she also easily forgives forgiven due to her genuinely good nature. Her mother disappeared two years ago, <laughs> leaving her with three younger siblings and a working father. As such, she basically serves as the head of the household. So, she seems to regard Naomi as a kind hearted kindred spirit, and the two of them frequently have long conversations about their many dreams for the future. Naomi Nakashima, age 16. Student at a student in Academy Senior High Class 2-9 and a classmate of Satoshi's since I really agree Satoshi with Oh, not you again. I lost her father a few years back. Naomi and her mother now depend on her mother for more support. Still she remains optimistic and cheerful. Her home life has given her an intense in nursing, which she is intent on pursuing. She spends her time studying and aiming, uh, aiming for acceptance. Okay, <laughs> acceptance in medical school. Sorry. Satoshi Machida, age 17, a student in Academy Senior High, class 2-9. Fairly average but popular, known for being both kind, kind and cowardly in equal measure. Despite his timidness, he's very personable and open with compliments, and his general sensitivity toward others make him a natural leader. The one person ever to challenge that leadership is Naomi, who is consequently. The only person whom Satoshi regularly defers judgment. Alright, that's everyone. Get the fuck out of here. No character attractions and return to the game. Yes. Come on, come on, Yumi, let's go. Okay. Okay, now I can fucking. Is there no way to save? Maybe you, maybe you can look up and see if it like sa saves like if there's like checkpoints to save or something. Cause like the music is loud. And I wanna turn it down. Get out of this room. What? What's wrong? This hallway looks totally different than it did before. But maybe earthquake made more of the floor glass. Yeah, maybe. There's a yellow fluid con Feeling inside the rusted bucket. What the heck is this? Pee? Ew, don't say that. For a second there, I actually thought that was a safe spot. I hate Naomi. Is something wrong with your leg? Oh, uh, yeah, I was so freaked out. I forgot all about it. I think I might have sprained my ankle. Well, that's not good. Will you be okay? I can walk at least. I'm sure it will be on its own. Yeah, 
Yeah, but you shouldn't push yourself. Here, lean on my shoulder, okay? Okay, thanks. Okay, so we can't go that way. Okay, this way. It's up in this way. The fuck? There's a loose board lying on the ground here. Take it with you. Yes. Acquired loose board. Yes. And now, I can climb a box. It's impossible when it seems too hard to risk jumping. Hey Naomi, what's that? What What about that loose board you got? I think it could support our weight? Like a bridge? I don't know, it seems kind of beat up, but I guess it... It, it, it is pretty solid. This word has been set, set in place. Aha! That's right, bitches. Wait, is this, 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 this candle. This is where I've seen it before. Yes! Alright. Fucking let me change the damn fucking volume. Jesus Christ! I thought I turned it low enough. Sound volume down a little bit too, just in case. But there we go. Most volume probably that down that too. Highly down heavily. Yeah, cause now I can put my fucking headphones on. Oh god damn! It, I hit escape. I hit escape. Apparently, if you hit escape well, on this game, okay, it closes. Well, no, right? Yeah. Right, it was because your game needed a restart because you were changing the resolution. I didn't, I didn't mean to change it. It's still slightly loud. Did they actually keep everything? Put it at five. It is that bad. School, huh? Yeah. You and the others. Great, you're not streaming in here. Oh, you're not right. streaming in here anymore. <laughs> yeah, I got it. I fixed it. You and the others must be getting pretty hungry by now. Oh uh, yeah. I forgot your father's working late tonight, isn't he? Yep. Well, his mouths to feed don't come cheap after all. While well, Dad's working for some food in him, I I get to be that house frat. <laughs> yeah, I guess you and them are still just little kids, so somebody sh wouldn't need to be around. A pretty amazing psycho. High schooler and mom all rolled into one. Not sure how I feel about that statement. <laughs> Just have to get back to him now. It's the same for you too. Your mom's waiting for you, Naomi. We'll make it back. I know we will. One way or the other. We'll get out of this place. 
Okay. Okay, now we can move. So we try going across the board again. Can we take this? No, we cannot. The gaps are the next place. It seems possible, but it's still a little too hard to risk of jumping. We have to interact with that in order to grab this one. No. And that means I probably missed a loose board somewhere. There's probably a loose board around here somewhere I can grab. Maybe you can, like, look... Hmm. It looks like they're... Okay. Hmm. Looks like you should be able to go through. Oh. Entrance way. The heavy door is firmly shut and seems unlikely or un unwilling to open through any normal means. Ah. <laughs> Oof. No good. It won't budge. It didn't feel like it was gonna give it. It was gonna give at all. In fact, I don't think we'll be able to force it open. Man, so close and yet so far. Well, I guess we better look for another way out. Yeah. We probably just had to activate that. Dangling curiously over the edge. Get back up. Alright, loose board. Yes. Big brain time. Still here for us. Me. What? 
Seiko. You say something, Seiko? No. You? It wasn't you? It definitely felt a presence of some kind. Tennis around this point, our, our power would crumble and there's no way to do it. It can't go that way. Naomi, look over there. Aren't those bones like people bones? <laughs> Shit, of course, the party with. <laughs> what? Why? Why is there a dead person here? Wait, wait, let me look at them more closely. Maybe they're not real. They really are somebody's bones. No. Seiko. You too. You two are new victims, are you not? Ghost. Who are you? I was brought here against my will, and confined just like you. Where is here? Do you know something about this place? Oh wait, that's me. Where is here? Do you know something about this place? This is a cursed multi-dimensional nexus. Multiple planes of existence. All piled on top of one another, created by powerful, vengeful spirits. Closed space, or perhaps closed spaces. You and we as well are unlucky victims of their twisted whims. We have been ad all been abducted. Closed spaces? Indeed. It seems you two are not the only ones to have been brought here. I'm sensing numerous others. What? Does that mean everybody else is here too? Are they okay? I wonder... So our friends are in the school too? I don't know the exact number. But I do know that others were pulled into these spaces at the same time as you. They are definitely in this school. Oh my god, that's such good news, Naomi. They're here. We're not alone. That means Rochita's here too. I bet that makes you feel a lot better, right? However, you cannot meet them. They are definitely in this school, but the space they occupy differs from the space we occupy. If you wish to see your friends, you must find some means of entering their space, or bringing them into this space. Even then, escape is nigh impossible, but at least you'll be able to die together. Oh, oh god. Is there no way out of here then? You said you were brought here by vengeful spirits, right? Who are they? And why have they taken us? I don't know. Neither the motives of our captors nor the me a means of escaping this hell. All I know is that with some effort... You can at least live out your days together in this same space, and that alone is fate worth fighting for. Two heads are better than one. Your chances and your opportunities are so much greater than when working together. 
do whatever you can to find a way out of here. Don't end up like us. No. Run! You have to get out of here! Now! Okay. Oh, I thought I had it wrong short of it. Are you alright, Psycho? Yeah, yeah. What the hell was that? A child spirit? It did kind of glow. Never believed in ghosts before. Is this really happening? There were definitely ghosts in there. First time I've ever seen something like that. So you saw it too, right? Yeah. And we were talking to it. I just don't understand any of this. Except that there's no easy way out for us. Like it or not, we're stuck in here. It, it, it'll be okay. Let's just, you know, march on with our heads held high or something. Oh. Mm -hmm. If you should die here, you'll experience the pain you felt at the moment of death for all eternity. Heaven is completely cut off. No paradise, no nirvana, just external pain. Why did I have to die like that? Me too. Acquired unknown will feel the pain of death forever. That's not the thing could think about that. See, the only place I have to go is through that door where the ghosts were, which is just perfect. Maybe you can see what was written on that board. Wait. Right. What the heck is this? What? Was this here before? I don't know, but it's just just a picture, right? Yeah, it doesn't say. Hmm. Question three. Doors locked. Oh shit! The unknown key unlocked it. Oof. Naomi? What's wrong? I, I don't know. It's like my heart skipped a beat as soon as the key was turned. I have a really bad feeling about this room. Huh? Oh, trust me. It'll be just fine. I mean, it's a locked door. You know what that means, right? Booty. Behind every locked door lies a hidden treasure, just waiting to be claimed. Can't you hear it calling to you? Fuck it, I, I saved, so it's fine. Ugh, another dead body. Message has been painstakingly scratched onto the floor with fingernails. Whatever you do, don't look at the newspaper. Yep, I did I really think we should just leave this room. Something's not right in here. Okay. I don't know. I'm really curious about that newspaper now. Can we just take a little, one little peek? And we're wait, out of here. Wait, there's another thing in there that you, you could have gotten. No, I don't think there was. 
Don't think this is a yeah, the table. There's a candle here, but it's unlit. And it's just been written on the desk with magic marker in big letters. Let's hate one another with all we have. Fucking sheep. That's it. What the fuck? I actually thought that was real life for a second. Okay, I'm not going down there. Let me go over here, please. Come on. Mm-hmm. Or, right. 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 Go back. I don't go think back. he- I don't think he can go that way. L look there! What- what can fit there? What can fit in that little hole? I don't have it anymore. Go grab it, then. I don't think you can. Yes, you can. You've done it before. Yeah, no, I'm hitting the interact key. I can't, I can't grab it. We're gonna find another, either find another loose floorboard, or something's gonna happen to activate that floorboard happening for me to take it again. Oh, oh god, what the hell is this? It's a horrifying. It's like somebody was thrown from the other end of the hall at superhuman speed. And just splattered everywhere. Uh, it smells so meaty. Happy Friday the thirteenth, everybody. <laughs> Thanks, Momo. Uh, uh, sorry, are you okay, Naomi? Look, you're listening to Ice Ice Nine Kill. I don't know who they are. I I'm fine. Let's just get away from here. <laughs> okay. Well, oh, I'll send you the song. Okay. Mostly bleached skeletal remains of a female student lie sprawled across the floor. The loose bones and scraps of cloth dangling from a hole in the ceiling above the body suggest she fell to her death from the second floor. Upon closer inspection, there is a student ID tag attached to the slot of our uniform. Seisai Academy for Girls, Class I-2. Use your hand, eat me. I got it. Name that. Someone told she's a paper on the floor next to the body. They, s they seem to have been dropped by the victim at the time of death. Before noble musket musketeers begin today, let's meet beh behind the main gate after school. Kyoto. I mean, classroom find that shit. Every, everybody's fine. He's a high. Come join us. Super. Okay. It's pronounced Asuka. Asuka. Right. If you wish to leave this place, you must take heed of the messages left behind. By the many victims who died here. Many victims have left their thoughts or even their dying messages on the scraps of paper that littered these walls. It hurts 
it hurts so much. I wasn't sure if they're gonna turn to take key. Skeletal remains far across the floor. Here, small enough to be a middle schooler. Looking close, you can see a student I need to be named Tag. Alright. My head is splitting. It's unbearable. I can't take it. I can't take it. I can't take it. When I found Yusaha's body, I, f I saw a black shadow. But I didn't tell anyone about it, and now it's killed them all. I'm so sorry, everybody. I'm so sorry. Lower half of the text is obscured by a thick layer of dried blood. Okay, so avoid that right there. Also, also, Bray, I would, I would try and read the papers on the walls, like the one beside, yeah, right there. No, right? I can't. I can't do right that because that's the shadow right there. That's the little shadow just talked about. I'll die. Wait, what? That's blood. No, right there. That's the shadow. I'm, I swear, I, th I believe what? that's the shadow. I believe that's what it's talking It's like a dark shadow. No, that's shadow. blood. That's blood. <laughs> yes, Miss Nail Shadow definitely won't be with me anytime soon. Do not open under any circumstances. Oh, well, I wasn't sure. It just, well, it's not dark red colored, so it looked like dark shadow well, shit. Well, blood isn't, blood isn't always, doesn't always look red colored, so, like. Okay, so we can't get anything in here. All right, I believe there's something bad in this room. Let's talk to you first. Cold rains of a girl with a big hole in her skull that's still sitting in a chair. Closer inspection reveals a student ID name tag. Ah, there it is. A little note fell in the, the skeleton's hand. You're an idiot, Raito. If you don't believe with all your heart, then we'll never be res get rescued. I thought we were friends. Wait. Even when I'm over here, I still can't get it. You motherfuckers. Obviously, a key. What the yeah, fuck? it's like from? changing. It was the it was the key. Yeah. If you're if you don't keep a closer eye on it, that light's gonna run away from you. Pay attention to its location. Find the exact spot where it once stood. Examine it. Examine it thoroughly. Ah, okay. So where did it? Where was it? Right at that corner, right there. Okay. Which means, if we go over here... He came in, in the back, he jumps to the front. So how about one of us waits for it over there? Or for the fact that we can just grab it right... Wait. What? Right, you're gonna have. Right, you're gonna have to have one of them go over here. I don't know how to separate. Stay over there. Okay, so now here's where it gets worse. It's a lot easier for the other side. Okay, so it's like one, two, three. Go. 
One, two, three. 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 Wait, actually, it's right there. I think. Oh, wait, no. Wait. Oh, maybe? Okay, let's see. If I fuck up, then I fuck up. Disappear. And it doesn't seem to have made the jump over to here either. Well, really? Fuck! What was it? That was one block off. One block off. Oh. No, I was one far away. I was I was right here when it was right here. <laughs> one block off. All right. All right, bitch. You're you're getting in my pocket whether you like it or not. Ah, there we go. Almost got it. I got you, Naomi. I got it. You did? Nice job. Turn out to be this. Card infirmary key. Just to show you what a little teamwork can do, eh? <laughs> Make a great team. Two, one, three. <laughs> Read the note. Handwritten letter on the floor. I'm a goner, sis. The tendons in my ankle have been cut really bad. The bleeding just won't stop. Please, don't give up. I want you to keep living for, for both of us. I'm going to document everything I've learned so far in the hope that you can use this information to help keep yourself safe. First, all the windows, doors, and outside walls of the school are completely immovable. You can't open them, can't break them, can't bust them down. Anything that doesn't lead outside the school, though, like the hall windows in the classrooms, can be affected by some extent or another. Second, just as some people are, are inherently good or bad-natured, some of the ghosts in here are good, while others are quite nasty. The more kind and gentle spirits shed a pale blue light, while the less savory types appear in blood red and glow like fire. Oh, so the so the one you saw at the uh, in that like room was a good ghost then. So talk to the red ones. Got it. No, Chu. It hurts. Having the tendons and the heels of your feet sliced out is so excruciating. I'd rather my feet be cut oh, no. off altogether than have to bear this pain. My only solace is knowing that when I die, it'll stop hurting. But sis, before I go, I want you to, to see you one more time. I want to hug you. I don't want to die alone, sis. I don't want to die at all. I'm scared. My dear sis. Redacted. Well, it wasn't redacted. It's... Yeah. The increasingly messy uh. lettering on the paper becomes completely illegible at this point. There's a partially bleached skeleton sprawled across the floor. Unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be any sort of name tag on it this time. Based on the gorse soaked remains of the uniform and the length of hair scattered around the head, it's safe to say that this was a female student. Just 
cutting in a closet. The door is affixed to the wall like de like a decoration. It won't open. There's an erratic noise like that of a TV stack coming from within. I don't think I want to go in there. Probably going to have to go in there. Nope, I'm leaving. Fuck you. I'm out. Probably gonna have to go in there at some point. So now I'm gonna find a f the fucking infirmary. So I had a key to an infirmary, but I don't know where it's the infirmary is. Hey, right, right, go back, go back. There was writing on the wall that you could look at. Hold everyone, and I said go with them. So why have I been left behind? It hurts, it hurts so much. Looks like there really have been a lot of different people brought here. I wonder how many. It'll work out for us, though. I'm sure of it. <laughs> Can't really give me any information. Yeah, but you're learning more about like the people that are here, so. Oh, here we go. You, so... See? Now we can... oh, wait, keep looking. I'm gonna just there were more of like of those like um papers on the walls. Maybe but we can see that later. I'm now gonna use this to walk across to wherever I need to put this except for God. It was on the other side. I don't think... Yeah, no. I don't think it was down here where you were. Yeah. It was where uh, that, like... It was past where that body was. Well, that, like, that blood thing. So you were going the right way, then you, like, went, took a double... T Back. Well, too, if you are correct, there's a thing called Google. What? Oh yeah, there's this paper right there. Admit it, you hate all your friends. Eventually, you'll kill one another. Yeah! Big brain. Um... Where the fuck were you? That... That's a good ghost, okay? Alright, I'll stretch. No, unless they try to kill me first, it's true. <laughs> a pile of haphazardly ha strewn human bones is heaped upon the floor. Upon closer examination, a student ID tag can be seen jutting up to himself. We're just collecting the tags. Oh, look, this paper on the ground it seems to have fallen from the corpse's lifeless hand. God will surely save me. Yeah, no, they won't. Oh. You're on your own, bitch. I have a Tori's boys room to the left. Girls room at the end of the hall. Fuck yeah. I have a feeling if I open one of those doors, I'm gonna die. Do it! No, cause I, I, 
I haven't saved recently. Sir, where's your god now choking? <laughs> Hey, hey, Naomi? Huh? Do you have any of that ass medicine on you by any chance? You know, the, the smeary stuff? What, again? Yep, my butt's been drier in a desert since we, we got here. <laughs> oh, I've got some antibacterial cream if that'll work. Thanks, I'm gonna go pur up my pooper with it real good. <laughs> I suddenly like this a lot less. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> hey. Do you have any shame at all? Kill me, please don't kill me. Seiko? Seiko? Mm -hmm. uh, okay, just Did check and make sure you're here. Check the last one. Okay. And she was. Now check the men. Now check the boys' bathroom. Seiko? Well, I don't want to die. That might be what you have to do. The goddamn door! What the hell? Am I hearing things? Okay, well I didn't die. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well that's not just... Not <laughs> Are you done putting that butt cream on on yet? I I chimed Might in. Might have with... to. <laughs> of course, I chimed in with with have any you people ever heard of closing the goddamn door? <laughs> <laughs> I guess we have to go down. What was that? Juco? Okay, so we know it's not. What are you doing? I'm not clicking the back last one because that's the bad door. Seiko? Seiko? Hmm? Nothing, just check to make sure you're here. Sorry for the wait. Thanks for the cream, Naomi. Put her there. Oh. Uh oh, well. Huh. Hey, you didn't wash your hands, did you? My bad. Don't you, my bad, me. You're, s you're a walking biohazard. Aw, oh, you're so mean. Fine, I guess I'll let you off the hook. We have bigger things to worry about after all. I actually just heard Yuka's voice out in the hallway. I think it was coming from downstairs. Really? Let's go check it out. Right. Okay, so it was actually from downstairs. Not in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I was saying. That's what I was going to say. It's coming from downstairs. Naomi, are you okay? That was a close one. My leg. Thanks for lending me a hand. No problem. I'm just glad you didn't fall. Seems like you sprained your ankle pretty badly, though. We should find you some place to sit down and rest. Yeah, you're probably right. Here, lean on my shoulder for the time being. They all die from diseases. <laughs> Thanks. I only want a psycho. Think nothing of it.
Okay, so somewhere down here. Well, you can sh I would probably like check in the every way you can. So you can like make sure. The newspaper room. Oh yeah, there wasn't there like a save spot in like the other no. thing? No, yes, there's can... a save spot near you, bro. Oh right, yeah, right here. That's... Yeah, it's right here. Right. No, what? I... That's why I was saying. I thought you meant in the newspaper room. I said in the other room. It was. I didn't say newspaper. Yeah, right. Maybe since you saved, maybe you can like check. See if check that newspaper. See what happens. I don't want to. There's all that pertains. Due to recent kidnappings, the caution is highly recommended during all daily activities. In each instance, the victim is was, was taken quickly and unexpectedly, so please remain alert and aware at all times. Principal, any young cure. Read a fucking newspaper. Just gonna have us die. That's what these games are. That's what these playthroughs are meant to do. I don't want to die repeatedly. <laughs> if I know I can avoid the death. Only post breaking news. Zero. Kidnapping ends in murder. The good name of Heavenly Host Elementary School has been stained in blood today as horrific details on the recent wave of disappearances are revealed. Over the past month, numerous children have gone missing within the town, and authorities quickly turned to kidnapping as the most likely explanation. Now, investigators have located the whereabouts of, the, of these children, and their findings are far worse than anyone could have anticipated. The bias of the absconded use were discovered within the Heavenly Host Elementary School building on September 18, 1973, at around 7 o'clock p.m. Authorities further revealed that a male instructor from the school was found with, with them alive but near catatonic, holding a pair of bloodied scissors. Each of the corpses had its tongue severed and, and removed redacted mutilations far to grow redacted to describe. The page is torn at this point and the bottom half of the article is nowhere to be found. How awful. I think I heard about this. I thought once before... Uh, not me, yet, but I guess it did happen long before we were born, so I shouldn't be too close. And now we die. No. Door seems fixed to the wall, like a decoration. It won't open. Like I said, now we die. Candle. This is great desk. Others, let's hate one another with all we have. Fucking sheep. Nope. Check the body again. You will never Adventure. leave this room. You will never leave this room. Soft sob. Soft sob. Yep. We're doomed. Told you, we're dead. Wait, is that us or the corpse crying? <laughs> you will never leave this room. It's the corpse. Bright, you've already done that. I, I don't know what else to fucking do. I can't interact with this anymore.
DNA. Maybe check the board. Outside the window is so dim, so dimly lit as to be almost imperceptible, looms a sheer wall of dense foliage, stretching as far as the eye can see. There's not even a hint. Foliage. 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 Not even a hint of what may lie beyond. Foliage. Whatever. Foliage. It's a word. Oh. There's no way out. Oh, what, what do we do? This is your fault, you know. What? How? <sighs> Just never mind. Or the news place or something else now. Nope. Oh, we leave. Oh man, that scared the crap out of me. What up? Oh no. No, it's gone! What is? The paper doll scrap I got from Ayumi. Oh, uh, the charm? Mine's still in my student ID holder. Crap, I put mine in my pocket. It must have fallen out somewhere. So I keep telling you to put things away before they get lost. Now I'm sad. One of that was the punishment from the newspaper. Mm. No, maybe not. That might just be part of the story. Like, that might you might have been actually like supposed to look at it. Or you could have just wanted it all together. Downstairs somewhere. Where the fuck downstairs? Wait, right. You couldn't. Okay. I'm going to the other side. There's no other si side to go to. No doors. Right. What? What I meant was. Anyway. Well, something in that class here. There's a door in the back of the room, but just as the window seems fixed in place like decoration. Oh yeah, maybe see if like you can change the candle potentially. Just curious. No. Okay. Candle just hates sheep for some reason. 
No, no, I hate. It's saying that the people are sheep. God. I, I, I stepped in it. Yo, know, you dare to be here. I got some tissues. Maybe you can wipe it off. These are definitely someone's guts. And when I stepped on whatever part of their body I stepped on, it made a squishy sound. Like I just popped my shoe on a juicy pile of dog poo. Oh god, that is way too much information. You're gonna make me puke. Sorry. Obviously this is the way. Infirmary. I, I didn't... Okay, there we go. There's the fucking infirmary. Oh, good. There's an old journal on the desk. At least it appears to be a journal. In reality, it's more like a model used to the desk surface. It can't be lifted and the pages can't be turned. Wash your hands with soap. You should never go to haunted hospitals or infirmaries. Huh? Huh. Somehow I expected the beds to be a lot dustier. <gasps> Catch it! You good, Hatchet? Bitch. Ah. <laughs> We're doing corpse party. Cool. We're dancing with corpses, as you can tell. Mm. Fascinating. <laughs> They are surprisingly clean. That's good, though. Now you can finally rest your weary bones, Naomi. Okay. Oh yeah, Hatchet, you missed the part of the game where they use antibacterial cream to make a another character's ass not dry. I kid you not, that's what they said. Right, so I think I'm. St I I think I think I'm just. <laughs> that shit leaves. <laughs> you missed that part. I... <laughs> Don't worry, Chew. We'll we'll just show you that rapping video <laughs> instead to help erase that memory of that. <laughs> Oh yeah, the like Rex. Well, the thing is, <laughs> yeah. it was uh, is chewing uh, Twitch chat. Yeah, choosing Twitch chat. They're speaking okay. that way because they're working on homework stuff. Gotcha. And then I won't be able to see it because I couldn't get uh, my computer <laughs> to be all right with Twitch Plus. Chu said, I will throw my oh, thick, okay. empty wallet at you. Ah. What a... What a notable threat. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Yeah, I think I'm going to lie down for a bit. All tucked away in the corner like that. I've always preferred nooks and corners. They just make me feel safe, I guess. I know what you mean. I'm the exact same way. I wonder if there's anything in here we could use to soothe that ankle of yours. Sit tight, Naomi. I want to go take a look. Okay, thanks a bunch. Don't thank me yet. I haven't done anything. Oh, gee, they... 
they have the Rick's rap video on YouTube. The Mad Lads did it for some reason. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Wait, what? The Rex rap oh. video is on YouTube. Oh, of course it is. <laughs> ah, this will do nicely. I got me a makeshift splint and some bandages. That sprain's a goner now. Hold still. Oh man, you're a lifesaver. Alright, you're wrapped up tight. How's it feel? It feels great, Psycho. Thank you. So far, Bray is pronounced Seiko. Seiko. Bray is pronounced Seiko. Okay. Th they've literally said the name before. <laughs> All right. Hey, <laughs> you're very welcome. You, sp I've sprained my my ankle pretty badly before too, so I know just how you feel. I wish I had some ice or something to put on it, though. No worries, you've done more than enough already. Er, you're asleep now? That's fair enough, I guess. Glad you agree. <laughs> it's slumber land for me. You really are an oddball, you know that? Why are there creaking sounds? Oh, that might have been coming from my end. No, from the game. Oh, was it in the game? Okay. Yeah, the game. Why would you ever sleep in a place like this? That's very true, Chu. So, hey, Naomi. If you find Mochita, have you thought about what you want to do with him? Eh? Well, you know what they say, when two people are faced with difficult situations, shall we say, it often leads to love, sweet love. What the fuck am I getting what? into? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? I'm gonna have to stop you right there, says <laughs> <It's> Chu. <true. laughs> Mm. What the fuck is this so true? Mm, I uh I think I'm actually gonna hop out. Yeah, this is like this. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. I'm kind of social out and I remember that I kinda of wanna avoid spoilers for this. Oh, that's fair. So uh, yeah. have a have a good night, y'all. Take yeah, care. Have a good night, Hatchet. <laughs> How does this exist? You should well up all your courage and confess your feelings to him. You get all girly with him in this creepy place, and your cuteness factor will grow three top, three sizes. And, and, oh, my God! And his eyes, I bet. I swear, with you around. I almost feel like we're just shooting the breeze back at, at school, like nothing ever happened. <laughs> Thanks for your advice. I'll think about it. Hey. Hope we find him soon. Uh huh. You kind of don't, though, do you? You're thinking about how you wish he didn't have to be put through all of this. I do not want to live on this planet anymore. <laughs> you want to see him, but you wish you could rest easy knowing that he's safe and sound back home, rather than wandering around here. Am I right? Must be the 
those maternal instincts of your ears. Huh? You're a deep one, to be sure. What the fuck? She may sound like an idiot, but she's right on, on all counts. Guess there's no fooling Seiko. I've been pretty curt with her since we got here. I'll have to make sure I apologize later. Hmm. And what was that exactly? <laughs> Sorry. It's just that when I see that ass of yours, I start to drool. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> What the fuck? Jesus fucking Christ, cease, cease, and this, this, this game is draining my brain so <laughs> You are so what weird. Fuck this. This is another lesbian game. <laughs> FBI, open up. <laughs> that was you, Kagan. Oh, well, they're too. both kids, so it's fine. <laughs> I'm take a look. It's both. You they're both kids, nice but yeah, this is w kind of weird. Yeah. I'll be back in a jiffy. I don't think that's such a good idea. I should go too. I insist. Don't worry. I'll be fine. Just keep that ass part on that bed. You got it. <laughs> Stop this chew. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> well, but look, your ankle's all dressed and feeling better, right? Don't make it all for nothing. Alright, I guess I'll stay here. Hmm. Ankle really does feel a lot better. This wind up always works, never ends badly. Seiko definitely ha <laughs> has a definite knack for caretaking. Miss you and any others. Satoshi. I wonder what they're all doing right now. Oh, now we're switching characters. I gotta say, that was pretty impressive. Reaction. Hm. Whoever heard of a class representative with such a sadistic streak? Whoever heard of a boy who can hit a note like that when he screams? We already read this. I've already read this. Yeah, this is bright. This they're do they're showing you what happened to them. That's. After this happened, okay? Right. That's what's happening. In the bed. His reaction was off and cute. Oof. I just want to see him. Why did this have to happen? The killer queen bites the dust is active. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, yay, now... Now what? I'm on my own. Well, okay, Bright, I would check the other, others... Bright? Yes? Check the other stuff in the room. Check the other stuff in the room. Okay, well, I, I got to, because I can't, because the door's locked. Look at some inspection, there's no visible hole in the door closed, nor any other evidence that it's been locked at all. <laughs> what? But if it's not locked, then why won't it open? <laughs> are, are those children? <laughs> We're all going to field trip together over summer vacation. Who? Who? What? Professional space 
heater, but it's it's so full of ash that it'll probably never light again. Box of matches on the ground next to it. Yes. Her box of matches. My head hurts so bad, I can't stop this ringing in my ears. <laughs> Scorning's medicine and tonics are lined up on each of the shelves, along with a single bottle of rubbing alcohol. I could take one of the two bottles with me, but I'll probably j just end up breaking them and cutting myself. Besides, I don't trust anything in here. Scissors on one of the shelves, so the blades is cor cor literally in blood. That's going to medicines and tonics are lined up on each of the shelves. Oh, there's um... I already read that paper. That's just oh, wait, did you? Okay. Yeah. Okay. There's a lamp on the desk, but it doesn't seem to be seem to work. Flipping the switch does nothing. It's an anatomical diagram of the human body tacked to the wall. Looking closely, it seems as if someone painted over each of the organs with actual blood. I would check. Wait, check the like. Uh, check the. Uh, um, door's different. Sink. Just... Mm -hmm. I would check. I would check the sink to see if you can like use the it. Handle turns, but not a drop of water comes okay. out. Okay. Door's different. The door is laced with countless <laughs> strands of black hair, rooting it in place. Is, is someone there? It sounds like a bubbling pen is scribbling away on a sheet of paper. Okay, so I can't go that way. Sacha. Sachi. Have you come to find me? Oh shit, red. What, what the? Yeet. I need to get away. <laughs> That's bad dude. Bad demon. Bad demon. That has a really Long short hand begins appearing in the journal on the desk, as if being written by unseen hands. The letters are, are so misshapen and consistent, however, they are completely in the illogical. If I turn light off, so I can't tell shines on natural, it's also on arterial glow. Ethereal. Ethereal glow. Oh boy! Oh, I see what I gotta do. Light it! Light the bitch! I can't light the bitch! Wait. Yeah, right, no. Tools. Uh, box match! Box! Ah, uh, I'm dead. Wait. Oh, use! Where did the hair come from? Can I use my burn hair? Yes! Fuck you! I was a trunk. Paper. No. Oh god. You take the paper off the. <laughs> Black Miss Pan's wrapped some money on his body. There's no question that this is a malevolent force. It continues to death is inevitable. So, no, I can't grab the paper. Oh 
thing is, I don't know where else to go. Like, what else on Earth is very plain? I don't Where's fucking know. Right? Why? I have an idea. Go up? Well, I can't at the moment. There's this bitch right here. Oh, god damn it. Yeah, but it's gonna trap me. Damn it. Fucking, I hit the wrong key. It hurts. Okay, where? Yes. Oh god. Oh god. Let me out of this bitch. To kill you. <laughs> Always carry a flamethrower with you. Naomi, what happened? Are you okay? Seiko. Sorry for the mess. What are you talking about? Don't apologize for Barfy, you poor girl. Everything's okay. You'll feel better now that it's out of your system. Do you need to rub your back? I think I'll be fine. Thanks, though. Did you find Yuka? Uh-huh. Looks like we really are the only two people here. Don't fucking split up. Oh yeah, it's, what did we learn? Don't fucking slip up. <laughs> yeah. The only two living people here. Anyway. This place is just too qu Just way too quiet. How about you, Naomi? What? Is your leg any better? Are you able to get up and about? Well, I was first thing I was suddenly attacked by this creepy black apparition thing. What? Oh my god, are you alright? I think so. You should consider that room off limits from here on out, though. That's fine. I'm just glad you're okay. I guess we better keep moving then. Can you stand? Yeah. But where are we supposed to go? Hmm, well... We've already been pretty much everywhere we can go in this godforsaken school. And the only other people we've come across are all dead. Damn it. There I go again. It's hopeless. We're finished. And I'm so tired. I'm acting like a child again. You are a child. Na Naomi, come on. It's not that bad. We'll figure something out. Plus, two niners never say die, die, right? We're invincible. I've got a hairdresser's appointment first thing in the morning tomorrow. And I intend to keep it. And then, in the afternoon... Let's say you and I go get our bikes fixed. Sounds like a plan, right? What great priorities. <laughs> if we make it back alive, sure. This is Seiko. What am I doing? I just can't seem to hold back. N N Naomi. Are you, like, super duper tired or something? This is so not like you. Come on, raise that chin. The only thing we have to fear is fear itself. What's that? 
hell's got you so chipper? Oh. Hmm? Just keep smiling and laughing. Do, do I? Uh-oh. I wonder if this is because of the spirit. That is the dumbest fucking thing. That dumbest fucking saying to ever be made. This is true. Tell me, how long is that going to last? If it turns out, we can never go home again. Have you given that any thought at all? We'll figure something out? That's a crock, and you know it. I must have finally cracked under the pressure. This whole situation was just more than my soul could bear. I thought I'd be keeping sake of the spirits up till the bitter end. But just like that, I was berating her, abusing her. All I had running through my head was pain and sadness. I was like a baby throwing a hissy fit. I was crying out rationally and couldn't stop. Wait, are we talking about Chu or the, or this character? I'm sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Venomous words are flowing from my mouth as if someone had turned on a spigot. All, all I could do was moan, complain, and belittle. Now it's like courage to cause me full great pain. <laughs> Everybody was behaving just like a spoiled little brat. I'm sure if families are going to be really worried about us. They're going to search and search, but they'll never find us. It will be a terrible burden for them. You're wrong. How so? About it being a burden. When you lose a, lose a loved one, you cherish that person's memory. It's never a burden. You just want to do whatever you can, whatever you can, to make her proud. You just want to, so you do. What's wrong with me? Seiko's mom disappeared, disappeared several years ago. I know that, so why am I putting her through all this grief? That's how I think the people we leave behind are going to feel. I don't know how it is for you and your family. But normally people don't work that way. Oh no, they're making horrible ideas again. Sorry, about well, we split up. We can cover more ground that way. Maybe find a clue to help us get out of here. It's the no, that's the opposite of what I said. Seems the most efficient plan of attack, don't you think? Who... Who says things like that? to apologize. I want to get home just as much as you do. Back to my dad and you and everybody else. And I sure as hell don't want to make them worry about me. This is all my fault. I have to apologize. But most of all, I don't want you, of all people, to speak to me like that. But it's okay. 
if that's what you think we should do, then let's split up. I'll go this way. What the hell is wrong with me? I couldn't even manage to say the word sorry. And so, in the, this nexus of closed spaces where humans are scattered and imprisoned and killed. Two friends who should have been thankful just for a small favor of being trapped together in this unforgiving place were quickly and easily divided. My petty obstinacy towards Seiko could have come to be the biggest regret of my life as the consequences of that heated exchange were far more oh, okay. than I ever could have imagined. Okay, so we shouldn't have read that thing. What, the newspaper? Yeah. Is the thing that changed the thing here. Go! Well, I deleted the save where we can go back. Yes, because you're an idiot. <laughs> oh, well. We're, we're doing this run. Fail me. That jerk. At least it's not an instant game over. Well, I would go. I don't think go you back. I don't think you can. I think I just heard someone calling out. Follow the voice. No. Yes. Yeah. Another earthquake. I don't know, God damn it. Yeah, I think it's gonna is it over. I think it's gonna keep us from meeting each other again. Are you okay now? Yep, see? We can't go back. No, the force collapse. Did this happen because of the earthquake? I can't take this. Naomi! Yeah, we can't go back. Game goes a full on fuck you, you're not going back. You're not Never make it back home again. Huh? This isn't a nightmare. It's actually happening. I guess before anything happens to either one of us, I should tell her how I feel. Or not. There's really no, real, no way it would ever work out. She is into her. Try as I might, I I stand no chance against Mochita. <gasps> it, it, they are gay. I think I just heard somebody calling out. Got no choice. This is the only way I can go. That was the first time, huh? Naomi to. The first time I've ever fought with Naomi like that. <laughs> In the moment Seiko and I parted ways, the fear I've been harboring since I got here just kept growing stronger and stronger. I felt like something else was in my head, like I was under some alien influence. In my mentally distraught state, I ran all the way through the building, frantically searching for Seiko. I just kept calling her name over and over again. 
When I finally come back to my sen came back to my senses, I found myself standing in a third floor hallway. Seiko! Where are you? Seiko! Mom, don't leave me by myself in here. Seiko? Is that you? Hey, don't go in there! And this is probably where she dies. Oh! 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 What? You, you, are you, do you not see that? What? You don't see the rope? Oh no. Oh. oh. You have the shoes on the floor. Yep. Stall door is locked from the inside. Someone's definitely in there. <gasps> She's still alive, you idiot! You're alive? Hold on! I'll get you down! The nooses aren't seen as attached directly at the ceiling, and there's nothing at her feet. All the attempts to help are just strangling her further. I have to. Her neck. That's just making it worse. I need a platform, something for her to stand on. Fuck it. Just call the bucket. If I meet something, it's just a footstool. It's a little volcano, but if it stays psycho. <laughs> significant number of maggots have found their way into Nami's hand. It's good. Or a filthy bucket. Seiko, I'm right here. <laughs> Filthy bucket fell from Naomi's hands. She's cold. With blank eyes, Seiko swung back and forth slowly in her noose. All life had been completely drained from her face. Uh, no. 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 Why would you hang your uh hang your, uh auto homicide? You were smiling and laughing all this time. Didn't you say we find a way out of here together? Stop this. Don't leave me all by myself. <laughs> say something. Oh, you go. I want to apologize to you for what I said. Maybe that was supposed to happen.
Because th uh, this game is meant to be very dark. In like, in that way, an aspect. It's very dark and poor. So maybe it actually is supposed to be like that. The gay character always dies first in the sort of scenario. Take up with Jojo Arrow as best as I could, that's fair. Wait, the grudge was in here? Where the fuck was the grudge? I would have been freaking out a bunch more. I have followed the damn grudge. Where the fuck was it? I didn't see it once. Extra Chapter 1, A Gentleman's Errand is now available for play. Okay. That's, that's Chapter 1. That's what I'm doing. I'm going to put it at, at ends. So, uh, bookworm, last words, go. I believe in you. I took the roundabout. <laughs> that took it like a huge turn. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Can I, can I contain those JoJo references? I don't watch JoJo. I feel like the chew is going to kill me now. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just not really at big of a fan of jojo so i don't like watch. comment oh. subscribe and follow bright on all socials or else you may find yourself in a haunted elementary school <laughs> we're now banned from the sound bar uh bookworm says like comment subscribe and follow bright on all socials or else you'll find yourself in a haunted elementary school <laughs> i love that bookworm <laughs> all right uh chew last words go Bright is no longer allowed at so Bar for disliking JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, and also sub and follow, I guess, if you're into that. <laughs> this Chew. <laughs> Thanks, Chew. Thank you, Chew. And, uh, Darn, I'll Okay, so, one. um... Oh. Yeah, so I looked it up, and apparently that is actually supposed to happen. So. Uh, okay, so that would have happened no matter what if we read the newspaper. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> so basically the newspaper did nothing <laughs> mm -hmm. well we don't know it could turn out how have done something in the end but yeah anyway during our last words go 
Um, follow, subscribe. Bright as a bird. Hmm. Yeah. All right. All right. So, my last words. Everyone here is probably going to be excited for it. Once the rigging for my uh, model gets done, I will put, announce a date on Twitter for when I'll debut. As well as I'll have a link that's to go where you can ask questions and I'll answer them on stream. It can be SCP related, it can be about my character, whatever. But uh, please Thanks. don't do bad questions. I hope you know what I mean by that. <laughs> yeah, no, no, like, no, like sexual ones, and no. Yeah. Ooh. No sexual ones, no. Um. Well, like, yeah, if you probably should like say that again, like when the question thing comes up. Yeah. When that happens, so we're like in the post on Twitter. Well, actually, I might actually have a prepared date. Hold on. Hold on. Just give me a moment. <laughs> I can see the chat. Fuck off, Jew. Um, apparently, I'm messaging my artist right now. Uh, I might actually be able to debut the 31st of this month. Hmm. Interesting. So. Well, like, I'm off all day that day, too. So that's awesome. Thanks. Yeah. We still want to get confirmed to make sure. Before that, so I won't announce anything till I know for sure I can get it done. So, anyway, danger noodles. Well, that's impressive. Didn't think toilets could be on fire. <laughs> anyway, and danger noodles. I hope hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you guys next time on your next mission. <laughs>